All righty. You like my flowers? Oh, why do the baby wanna squiggle? Sometimes when I press record, I don't know. Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's action ship. I know it's been a while since I made an action ship. I was traveling and stuff happened. And so last week I taught my Starship retreat here in New York City. Amazing group of entrepreneurs. One of the biggest things I kept hearing, this challenge of how do I take care of myself but I feel like I'm responsible for other people. I put other people first. And that challenge of feeling responsible for everyone else and you feeling like you don't get really what you need. So what do you do? You could think about it and stress yourself out even more trying to figure out what you should do or shouldn't do. Or you can get in your body and connect to a feeling whereby you are feeling your own self-support, your self-responsibility that I am in the place that I need to be, I am giving myself what I need, and when I am doing that, it is supportive to other people. But that's not something we can get to by thinking about it. It has to be something we go in and literally shed all the stories around why that can't be possible and connect to the magic inside of us that knows that that is, of course, the way that life is designed to be. So we're going to start with a little Franklin Method process which is going to help us tune into that place and let go of some of this responsibility for the outside world. You're gonna rub your hands together. You're gonna to take one hand and put it on one of your shoulders. We're going to be circling your shoulder. We're gonna start with just some like squeezes and breathe and just imagine any tension in your shoulder, any holding just being washed away. So while you're doing this, it might feel, I don't know, maybe a little creaky or a little tight or like maybe there's not even time right now to do this video and it might be fighting and saying, no, I don't want this. And instead of focusing on that, you're going to focus on smoothness, ease, flow. So maybe like water or I know the snow just melted, yay, here in New York. And just imagining that melt, 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 melt. Then you're gonna put your hand on your clavicle, which is your collarbone, if you can find that, and just give it a little squeeze and keep circling. And just feel the movement of your clavicle. So your job right now is to just stay present with you. So go into your body, your feeling, your clavicle and just feel it moving and then let's go the other way. And I also have my finger on the joint between my clavicle and my sternum. And then you're going to just put your hand on your shoulder here, kind of the deltoid muscle, move your arm around and just think it's designed to move, 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 move. And a little squish, and a little shake, and then just shake out your arm. And then rest, and then just notice your two shoulders. So you can see here for me, the shoulder has dropped about two inches. So just notice your shoulders. Do you feel any difference? So we just did a very little process here and hopefully if you're able to stay present with it, you feel, oh yeah, this side feels more relaxed. It feels more expansive. I can breathe more fully into it. If I move my arm, it feels more flexible and it feels like, yeah, you know what? Like I can, kind of this feeling of I can do it all. I can be present with me and support others. And then just notice the other side. And for me, it feels like uh, this fight, this fight of, is it me or is it them? Do I do this, do I do that? And just like, everything just feels tense because I'm physically experiencing tension. So whatever is in my mind, whatever those pictures are, are gonna be stuck to the feeling of tension. And so when you can feel, wow, the flow, the new possibilities, suddenly your mind opens up too. So this is the true mind-body. There is no separation. Your mind is your body and your body is your mind. And when you can come into your body and really be present with it and really learn 
how to use imagery to actually support what you want and to really understand your function, everything changes, your life changes, your possibilities change because the most important thing has made a shift which is you. And when you make the shift, it ripples out to everyone around you. So let's do the other side. So hand on your shoulder and little circles and breathe. So this is what everyone was experiencing in the Starship Retreat last weekend. It's just this deeper sense of wow, how fast things can change when I can come into me and how important that is. In fact, I have to put that first. It's the only thing that matters. And so then the idea of like self-care becomes almost like a, why would I do that? Because I live in a place that is of support. So imagining the flow, can I be present with that? And again, noticing your mind, can you allow yourself to stay present with that image of the flow, of the melt, and then hand on clavicle, feeling that too. And yesterday, as I'm filming this, was the first day of the new year the zo of the zodiac. It was the new moon in, uh, where are we? In, what is it? Aries. It was the new moon in Aries, which is technically the beginning of the zodiac year. And I really felt that like, ah. Oh, Kind of like the other side of the <laughs> dip of winter. So just imagining that like melt coming out back into the light and then hand on your shoulder and move, move, move and breathe. <sighs> just being with you in this moment in time. And this, actually this dress is amazing because you can see it's like mesh. Um, and so your fascia, which is connective tissue that is all in and around you, inside your body. It's kind of like this, it's kind of like a net. And when you have your hand here and you're moving it around, you're moving that net, but it's a like 3D net. And as you are releasing tension here, right now, as we are being present with this area, it is rippling out through your whole body. And so now when you relax, Oh, you might notice it all the way down your side. I feel it all the way down my arm and maybe even down into your leg because everything is connected. So just noticing how that feels. So we're gonna finish up with a little universal health principles link and we have a permission of, I allow myself to be the center of my life. I allow myself to be the center of my life. So we're gonna tap that out together. So you're gonna tap over your head and over your heart and you're gonna breathe. Can you see me here? Let me pull this back a little. There we go. So I allow myself to be the center of my life. I allow myself to be the center of my life. I allow myself to be the center of my life. I allow myself to be the center of my life. I allow myself to be the center of my life. So just noticing how you feel. Right now I feel a lot quieter, a lot more in, a lot more present, and a lot of the like, oh, I need to run around and do stuff to make myself feel better. It's just fallen away. It's just like, no, here I am just where I need to be, just in the right place. And just this dropping of this responsibility which keeps us in a frenetic place versus a deep inner responsibility to being present with what is true. So I would love to know how you feel. Hopefully you have a quiet mind, but if you wanna pop me down a few words in the comments down below, I would love, love, love to read them. And if you want to share about this on Twitter or Instagram, make sure to tag me. If you want to post about it in an Instagram story, that would be awesome. I would love to see how you feel. You can like record me a little message and um, I will also do a little Insta story now so you can 
see this live, get a sneaky peek. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me, Laura Hames Franklin, and Twitter is Laura Hames. And I will see you next week for another action ship. I will, 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 I promise. And Friday for a Fitness Friday and the vlogs. I'm gonna go now, leave a ballet class, get on the train and edit vlogs and feel my inner connection while I'm doing all of that. So sending you a big hug and love and thank you so much for watching and thank you for being here and changing the world with me. Remember, you are the whole point going into you and connected, we are making a whole new world. And I'm so excited about it. Loads of love, I will see you soon. Don't forget to click thumbs up too and subscribe on YouTube if you're not and I'll see you soon, bye.